keep it moving and introduce our next magician. My two favorite words are what if. I grew up in the Midwest where people believe in UFOs. When I was a kid, people thought space aliens were carving crop circles into the cornfields. The crop circles turned out to be hoaxes created by bored farmers. Everyone was disappointed except me. I thought, great, people make the crop circles. I made my own in the shape of a queen of hearts. Aliens, is this your card? I knew I was a magician then. I've tried to get on to fool us every single season. The trick that finally got me here tonight was my 64th submission. Like I said, I'm a Midwesterner. We work hard and never say never. After 64 tries, it's just incredible to be here. But I think I have a decent shot at fooling. Oh, I came to play. I definitely came to play. We couldn't get Joe Clubs, Joe Spades, or Joe Hart, but we did get Joe Diamond. Hello, Penn. Hello, Teller. Hello, Las Vegas. Vegas. Uh, yes. I am Joe Diamond. Uh, that's diamond as in rare, unique, and valuable. And Joe, as in average. <laughs> I'm right in the sweet spot. I specialize in magic of the mind, uh, mentalism, psychic phenomena. I'm not a medium. I'm a large. <laughs> uh, before we begin, I have to tell you a quick story. Uh, growing up, I went to a very religious school. It didn't take. So when I did card tricks, the teachers got seriously scared. Uh, I didn't uh, use any you know, marked cards or uh, special sleight of hand or anything like that. So when I apparently read their minds and revealed uh, their selected cards, some thought Satan must be secretly helping me. So, as punishment, they took my cards away. Yeah, it, it could have been worse. They, they could have burned me at the stake. <laughs> so, tell her, uh, as a former teacher yourself, it'll be your job to confiscate this deck of cards from me at the end of the performance, okay? But for right now, could you cut about a third of the deck towards you? Okay, yeah, about a third. Perfect. And Penn, could you cut about a third of the deck towards you? And I don't want to look at uh, Penn's card in a moment, Teller, so keep eye contact with me. Are the cards in front of you, uh, Penn? Yes, sir. Okay. Could you take a peek at the top card of your pile, Penn? Okay. Keep eye contact with me, Teller. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> remember it. Once you remember the top card, Penn, show it to the audience. I do have to show it to the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was keeping yeah. it to myself. Okay, yeah, yeah. Show it to the audience. Yeah. And put it back on top. Give me a thumbs up once he's done that, Teller. Yeah. Uh, Penn, could you shuffle that pile? I sure can. All right, perfect. Shuffle them up. In fact, keep shuffling them until I ask you to stop. I will. Okay? Uh, because I don't want you to think Satan is helping me, so shuffle the hell out of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, Teller, you might recall this is the top of the deck, so you know that I could know something about the first few cards, so shuffle them up so there's nothing I could know, okay? And uh, Penn will keep eye contact with me while you do that. I'm feeling a tingling sensation. Me too. <laughs> I thought so. I think it's meant to be. All right, is uh, Teller done shuffling? He then? is. Okay, Teller, could you take a peek at your top card? Okay, Penn, you can put your cards down here for right now. And pick up these cards and shuffle them. Okay. Over the bottom, right? Yeah, yeah, shuffle those cards up. Make sure I don't get any glimpses of any of them. Okay. Once the audience knows your, yeah. Once the audience knows your card teller, place it back on top and tell her pick up these cards next. And just give those one more shuffle. Give those one more shuffle and drop those on top. Has he done that? Has he done that? Yes. All right. Drop those on top. Yes, I will. All right, perfect. All right. Now, I, I know what you were thinking a moment ago as you were shuffling those cards. You were thinking, wow, this Joe Diamond guy kind of looks like a mystical James Corden. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also thinking about how you were sick of shuffling the damn cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so, I can honestly say at this point, I genuinely have no idea what either of your cards are yet. However, I'm going to try to figure it out using a skill I learned once I left religious school and went to college. Not clown college, Penn. 
Hard college. Could you please place your hand on mine? Yes, and concentrate. I'm getting, getting some Dylan, <laughs> some Tiny Tim, a couple George Carlin bits. I'm so sorry. Think of just the card, Ben. Okay. Just the card. <laughs> it's black. Yes? Yes. It's a spade. Yes. I believe I have it. Don't say a word. Come back to you in a moment. Okay. Tell her. Could you please think of the card and place your hand on mine? Place your hand back on mine once more, Pen. I have to be honest, this has nothing to do with mind reading. I just wanted to be touched by greatness. <laughs> I, I don't, keep thinking of your card. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I believe this is yours. This is my moment of truth. <sighs> Tell her, I believe this is yours. And Pen, what was yours? Pen of spades. trying to get on the show for a long time. Can you yeah. believe that you're finally here? I cannot. Yes. You said you do lots of mind magic. Yes. Do you ever do palm reading? Funny you should say, uh, when I was 14, uh, I watched a, a small little travel show that uh, you hosted. <gasps> yes. And <laughs> yes, no. I'm, I'm 16 now, so it's okay. It's okay. Thank I you. shaved Thank the beard and I look the same. It's fine. So I actually paused the show at a point where your hand was showing because I wanted to read your palm and I wanted to see if we were soulmates. Really? Yeah. Can so, you read it again in high yeah, definition? Yeah, absolutely. Do I, yeah, do I want yeah. May, 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 may I yeah, take it? Of course. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I, I do see your, actually your soulmate is a, a slightly overweight uh, mentalist from the Midwest. So uh, the biggest thing I will say, you know, there's all the basic lines, but the one line you have that I'm not surprised by is something called a sister line. Uh, it just basically means someone's looking out for, for you and you have a very uh, blessed life. I love that. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, Joe, let's see if your magic yeah. fooled Penn and Teller. Yeah. All right. Boys? Yes. Joe, this is really the kind of trick that I really like the most. When you said mentalism, most people think of that as ESP, but it's really a mind trick that you really have to think about, and it's really, really clever. It's one of the things in magic that is more fun to know because the intricacies are so clever, and then you put on top of that such a street top on it that no one thinks it's a math professor kind of trick. And I, I really like that, the fact you do it so so humbly and so I'm just an average Joe while you're actually having to do an awful lot of thinking. And you're a wonderful performer and we liked you right from the beginning. And you made that crack about me going to clown college. And I will say, yeah, yeah. I went to clown college, but you went to card college. Yes. And I don't think you fooled us. So, so the Schwartz is with you? Yes. Uh, you, know, I, you know, I had a feeling. I had a feeling <laughs> about that. No, no, I, no, seriously, because, because I had that feeling before I came out here. I had a, I had a premonition. So I, I wrote th this down before I even came out here. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Correct. Yeah, correct. No way. No, no way. I had the sense. No way you could have known that. I nailed it. So little time. In fact, we only have time for one more trick. So why not have it performed by the stars of our show? That's right, Penn and Teller perform when we come back. Oh.